Hey guys, um, so it's Monday, so you get to see my face today. Yay! Um, if you notice anything, my hair is actually done, and I'm wearing makeup, so... You know I remembered to make a video today, and it's still 9.30. So, um, today's, this... This week's theme is about, um, starting dancing late, and, like, your tips and, tips and tricks and caboodles and doodles and whatnot for people who start dancing late. And if you don't know my story, um, I started dancing when I was two, quit when I was seven, and started again when I was 11 years old. And I'm 14 now, about to be 15, so it'll be four years in a couple days, month, in a month. month. So, um, this lighting's really bad. <coughs> I fixed it. And my camera's tilted. So, um, that's my closet. Um, my main tip is to really just, like, throw yourself into it. Like, beginner classes are great. I didn't take a beginner class. I went in and took a class that I didn't know how to do anything, and then by the end of the year I knew how to do what they were doing. So, I just kind of threw myself into it, and that's kind of the thing I can tell you. And then another great thing is watching dancers on YouTube. That will really improve you because you can, because you can watch what they do, and then when you see something you like, you can watch the that second clip of them doing a leap or something over and over and over again, and see exactly how they do it, and you can work on it until you have it, and then you have some cool trick that you think is cool looking, and you can do it, which is pretty legit. So. Another thing, talk to your teachers frequently. That really helped me. Um, I would I communicate with my teachers almost every day after class. Like I talked to them about how I did that in that class, and they don't mind. And I have a really close relationship with my teachers, so yeah. And um, strengthen yourself, make yourself more flexible. Really work on your flexibility and strength because that'll make you a good dancer. Blah, 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 blah. Um. Make sure you're dancing for you and not for anybody else. Like, don't dance because your friend says you need to dance, or don't dance because your mom's making you dance. Dance because you want to dance. Like, it'll make you it'll make you throw yourself into it more than just if someone's telling you to dance. So, um, other than that, go to a studio that you've heard is really like dead set on trying to help you and not just trying to make you a competition dancer like I'm a competition dancer and I really like it so um I mean there's nothing wrong with being a competition dancer but work on I mean people who dance are really artistic so work think also about the art of dance don't just think of oh I want to be a competition girl and wear all the pretty stage makeup and the sparkly costumes Think of making what you do in art, not just movement. So, hope you enjoyed Monday's rant, and Monday's hair in a bun, and Monday's leotard. Oh, you can see my leotard. I'm pretty chill. I'm just going to see my leotard, my entire leotard collection. So, just take it with me. So. This is one of my favorites. It's purple. That. Um, I really like this one. It makes me pretty happy. And then this is my ballet skirt. My favorite. It matches all my leotard. And, um, there's milk on it. Um, yeah, I really like it because it's purple and slim and all that loveliness. And it matches my walls. I like purple. So, yeah. That's my tips and tricks for. I'm not, I'm popping my hips, I have really bad hips. I'll make a video one day about my bad hips. Comment below if you want me to make a video about hip strengthening and hip stretching on my main channel. Or just go to my main channel, Pretty Little Dance 56. Yep, I have freckles. Alright, bye bye. Ooh. <laughs>